Hey church, I am excited to bring you the news officially that uh, very soon from now, this sanctuary will no longer be empty. Uh, we're going to begin gathering together for worship on May 10th. And we're going to have two different services. The first will be at 9.15. The second will be at 10.45. And uh, this will go on uh, for an unspecified period of time. We'll just have to follow things to see how they progress. Uh, of course, the reason we're having two services is so that we can maintain social distancing. Uh, there will not be any restrictions on numbers, but uh, we, we do need to keep six feet distance from one another. That is from people from different households. And so we're going to be uh, roping off every other pew and, uh, and enforcing that or, or doing our best to ensure that, uh, that everybody maintains that distance. Uh, I would say that if you've been going to the grocery store, uh, that uh, coming to a worship service, uh, we're going to have uh, greater enforcement and, and these um, restrictions. We're going to have uh, greater precautions than you would see uh, even at the grocery store. And so um, come if you're comfortable with that. Of course, if you're not ready yet, then uh, we'll continue to post things online and, and uh, reach out to you as best as we can. But we're just uh, very excited uh, to finally be able to come back together again. We're not going to be having Sunday school. Uh, however, we are encouraging uh, the different Sunday school classes to come to uh, different services. And so uh, for that first service at 9.15, uh, we're encouraging the uh, older adult Sunday school classes. So um, Dennis's adult two class, and then the, the uh, Winsome class, and the Naomi class, and then also uh, Bonnie's uh, special class. Uh, we encourage you to come at... 915 and one reason is that uh, it'll be a freshly cleaned sanctuary uh, of course people in those uh, classes are going to uh, maybe have a, uh, a higher vulnerability to uh, any germs and so uh, we want you to be in here first at 915 and then at 1045 uh, all the other Sunday school classes including the children's classes so, so that way uh, the uh, parents and kids can be together and uh, if you don't come to Sunday school uh, then uh, you can come to either service and really even if you do come to Sunday school and you really need to come to one or the other that's fine um, but uh, if, if you don't have a preference at all I probably encourage you to come to that first service the 915 service because uh, we're suspecting there'll be more that come to the 1045 one but either way even if it's a little bit lopsided uh, we've done the math and we should be able to spread out just fine and uh, again we're very much looking forward to that uh, so, so no Sunday school. We will, however, have our Sunday uh, evening uh, service at 6.30, just as we had been doing before. And so, uh, so looking forward to that as well. Uh, we're just coming upon our, our summer break for Growing Together, uh, but uh, probably in a month or so we'll start our summer book study as we have in the past. And so, uh, so a, lot of, a lot of exciting things around the corner. And so uh, we will have one, one more uh, online service. Uh, only that is uh, coming up this next Sunday uh, but then after that I look forward to seeing you face to face uh, so God bless and uh, we'll see you soon